Hello everyone, it's Matt here. Um, welcome to part one of the BrickLive um, sort of vlog. Um, it's going to be two parts of this. Because um, obviously today is the opening, so I've actually gone and set it all up. Uh, set the models up and done a few other bits and pieces and done some shopping. Um, so I'm actually going to show off um, the haul first. Because I spent about, I did actually toss it up just and it came to about 49 quid. Um, so I'm actually going to go in purchase order, um, I think, for this. Um, and then after I've done all this, I'm actually going to show off um, a few other bits and pieces. Um, so the first thing is, or the first place I went to is a place called United uh, Bricks, um, or a stand called United Bricks. Um, so there's their little um, sort of thing as well. They even put it through in a revolution sticker um, as well. Um, and I spent th um, 30 quid on three World War One figures. So we have um, two US riflemen um, in the different skin tones. Um, so there's a bit, so there's a bit of variety. A lot of the um, parts I've got reserved for the World War One um, mark are all flesh based. Um, so. There's I do prefer a bit of variety in that sort of sense. Um, we've also got uh, one French uh, soldier. Um, this is sort of the later version. Uh, so I've moved on from the cape uh, to the more sort of armoured helmet. Um, which I'm going to take him out. Um, and the plastic's not very really good, so I'll actually take him out of the thing completely, uh, temporarily. Rather than the American stuff, which you've probably seen very before. Um, so there he is, and that just comes out quite well. And then obviously you got his gun as well, uh, which even includes the bayonet. So it's good for that. Um, and I actually did swap it out for me um, from the original yellowhead to fleshy st stuff. So you know, kudos to them for doing that. They didn't have to, but you know, saves me having to do it, and means I don't have to waste my time and money getting fleshy stuff when they giving it for me for to the swap out for free effectively so um, those are those th uh, three figures um, and then we've also got two more of the French uh, those French helmets um, that are on the same as on the figure so, um, I mean I've got some cappies um, already in stock but if I can have some of the helmets in there as well that's even better and they've also got a uh, meshed Brody as well so it's got um, some mesh on it so um, it's just print um, there's something too um, specific or spectacular about it but um, that's what I'm going with um, I'm just trying to think what was what was next um, and I'm inclined to believe it was these windows so these are 2 by one by 2 uh, windows I don't know the part number um, I'll just take one out. So there you go. Um, there's not a lot to these. These are the modern ones where it's just a single pane fitting in one side. Um, these cost two pounds fifty, um, and they're actually from a seller from the Levens called um, JB Bricks or Minifigurin.nl um, if you're in the Netherlands. So. They were, that was two fifty. I just thought that, um, you know, I'm going to need some white window frames. I might as well get some now. Um, so just neatly filled in that sort of space. Um, mini figures and bricks were have a standard brick live as well. Um, now I don't really buy a lot in terms of uh, pieces, but what I did buy from them was this very lovely sand green fish. Um, and their accessories were 50p each, and the fish on Bricklink is more than that. So I thought, ooh, a sangreen fish for less than Bricklink, wasn't it? I'm going to take that. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, from my opinion, um, if I can get a variety of elements with a variety of colours, especially when it comes to animals and livestock and that sort of stuff, um, the better because then it shows you can show different breeds using the same mould and that sort of stuff. Um, and then, lastly, 
Um, and it did pretty much use up all my changes. I just sort of went, oh, yeah, I've got enough. Here you go, half six pounds. Um, we have a pig. Uh, this is the spot for, spotted variety. Um, and also got a chicken as well. Um, and I um, I love the pig mould. Um, I actually learnt today, uh, Lego actually did a goat as well. Um, the goat was actually in a medieval sort of castle set as well, which is really weird. One set, there was two of them in a castle set. Worked that one out. Um, so it was all very odd and all very weird. Um, I actually put this these chicken in with the other ones I've got. So there we go. So that's all those put away. Um, so now we're going to go over to um, some of the photos and videos. Um, so originally I took, uh, well, I was going to take the observation car and I was going to take uh, the Eerie flat car with the tractor load and the caboose because I sort of thought, that's a nice sort of mix um, and then so I had a look through me as and sort of went right how much do I have to take and it's just like uh, and she said 90 by 60 and so I went I can take more than what I thought I was um, so I did was sort of went well we, I should aim really for one of everything um, so I sort of went well I'll take the Brick Central Lug box car I'll take uh, the 1940s Uptown Tanker because it's a bit more brighter it's a bit more variants because I don't want something too bland um, or too boring because a lot of it is a lot of my models are black or have black a good portion of black so the Dock and Tango is a nice uh, 20s is a black one whereas the 40s is a nice bright wa uh, white version so I thought I'd take that um, and then I've taken New York Central Hopper which is which is the black model um, and then there was also the Susquehanna uh, one in green and the Lehigh Valley caboose because I only own one caboose and it's the Lehigh Valley one uh, so I just sort of thought I'll take that one that's one of everything um, and then I've got duplication for the hopper um, as well um, so I originally arranged these uh, in a random order on one uh, table before then being asked to move to a different one on the block stand because um, they're on the block stand um, into the centre sort of section so I sort of went Actually, that actually works better for me because then they're not near the edge um, and then I can actually arrange them in sort of like an imitation train. The flat car is actually on its own special raised platform just to show it off a bit better because it's because um, quite a lot of the flat cars are quite a small model in terms of height, um, but they still have a bit of gravitas. So I thought elevating it up slightly on some raised track will show it off a bit better. Um, and it means you can actually see a bit easier as well because they're, they're a reasonable distance away. Um, so I did that, um, finished all that off, uh, tilted the observation car to the side so you can actually see the interior. Because I thought that's the easiest one. Um, you don't have to look at the under. You can see the underside, but you can't. Don't have to look at the underside. Um, and it just sort of solves it um, that way as well. Um, so I'm gonna. Show off some video footage now um, that I recorded at the event and end the video there. So that's it for part one and uh, see you later. Hello everyone, it's Matt here and once again uh, I'm on the road, a bit different to normal. Um, and I'm actually here at Brick Live. This is actually the block stand, um, as you can no doubt see from the various magazines. Um, and obviously there's some banners there and there's Brick Live obviously. Um, but what I'm going to actually show you is the stand, so I'm actually going to change, I don't think I can actually change camera while I'm recording, um, uh, no I can't, um, but what I can do is actually rotate the camera around, so here are all the models, if I can find it that way. so we have the Brick Central Railroad box car for Brick Central Lug, the Octan 1940s tank car, the Susquehanna Hopper, uh, which is the custom decals from OK Brickworks, New York Central uh, hopper, and that's actually got a sand load rather than coal, uh, which is a hard house. And then we have a Lehigh Valley caboose route of a black diamond, and this is actually the one that's actually got the lighting kit fitted. So I won't be running that during the show, but I have shown it to certain people so they know it's there. Um, we also have the Erie flat car with the tractor load, and I've not yet modified the grey tractor here. Uh, the blue and red are modified, and they're actually now complete with the exception of moving the um, bodies forward 
a bit to actually match um, the correct spacing and period. So this is the unmodified D4. Well, there's the unmodified D4, and there's the modified D3s or whatever they are. Um, or RD4, I think he actually is. And then lastly, we actually have the brick liner caboose. Um, this is actually on its side, so you can actually see the interior. That's actually a cotton glove there, acting as padding. And there's the uh, nose detail there. And then there's the uh, roof section. There's actually a fourth one there. Um, whoop, there's actually a fourth one there. And then there's the others back there. Um, so that's it for the display. So it is centrally located in the block stand. So unfortunately, it's away from the edges. Um, uh, but in actual fact, in some ways, that's a bit better because so it acts as its own. Um, the only issue is there's no loco. Um, but that's something that will come to later, and maybe it's a maybe it's a very uh, suggestive hint for Messrs. Uh, Leapheart and Holland to actually uh, get some work done. Uh, so then I'll say, hey, here's all these brick and stuff, and, but there's no loco. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, this is it. The real thing that I think this is missing as a display is just some large-scale track. Um, uh, because I haven't ordered anything off brick tracks yet, uh, which I kind of want to do because I've also got axles as well. Um, so eventually I'll get that sorted and that'll be done. And as well, I've been doing uh, some final bits of work. So um, I've actually added brick central uh, decals here um, to the gondola, and I've also at the well, sort of box car, I should say, and I've also done the number decal here. Um, whoop! I pan it around right on the. Uh, got the uh, not gondola uh, hopper uh, for the Susquehanna as well. Um, so I'll be posting photos. Well, say that um, it's recording. Um, so yeah, that, that's the uh, display. So um, you know, I'm gonna spend some time now just having a look around the showroom, get and look and see what's there. So uh, see you later.